Hey guys, welcome back to another video and this is new. <laughs> actually, this is not new at all. This is actually my husband's office where he works from home and he is not using it today. So here I am. <laughs> Do you like our top hats from the wedding? <laughs> yeah, I... I recently looked back at one of the first videos I did this year and that was my kind of hopes for 2020 and the goals that I wanted to achieve and all that jazz and it just kind of made me realise I need a big goals reevaluation. <laughs> it's just so frustrating because at the beginning of that video, I will put a link in the description below if you wanted to take a look at it, I said things like I have big plans for 2020 and 2020 sounds like such a strange and amazing year. It's a satisfying number and I've got a good feeling about this year. I'm sorry guys, I jinxed it big time apparently. <laughs> I jinxed it so much. Good things have still happened this year, but overall... Yeah. I really need to go over my goals and... It's just so frustrating because I had, well, like all of us, we all had plans this year and guaranteed almost all of those plans have gotten derailed by one thing happening this year or another. And it is, God, it is frustrating. I wanted to have something published by the end of this year, be it something with a magazine or one of my stories. And then I actually started looking into the publishing process this year for both traditional and self-publishing and didn't actually realise, because naive me, who has never done anything with publishing before, I didn't realise just how long a process it actually was. So I have fully accepted the fact that I am not going to get anything published by the end of 2020. There is too much going on, there are too many offices that are closed and there is just too much going on at home with lockdowns and then going back to work and then finding new schedules and motivation that is just really, really slowing down what I wanted. But that doesn't mean I'm giving up. <laughs> I also realise that it is a little bit late in the year to be going over this, considering... considering? <laughs> considering? It's a little late in the year to be looking over this, considering we are now in the middle of September. But, you know, it's never too late to put your goals on a new track. And that is what I'm really holding on to here. The fact that I am aware that things need to change and I want them to change. And I'm trying to figure out how that's going to work. So brings the big question, what are my new goals? And how am I going to fit them into the last three months? Three months? Yeah, three and a half months. <laughs> There's three and a half months left of 2020 and no one knows what is coming around the corner and I don't think anybody is going to be going into 2021 going, yes, this is going to be my year because everyone's going to be too scared of jinxing it now. <laughs> Including me. And again, I'm sorry. <laughs> so what have I managed to get done so far? I finished my second or third, genuinely can't remember, draft of the first branded book. That is a huge achievement in itself, and I do have a butt-ton of notes from my beta readers that are really going to help me, and I do need to go over it again, but again, going back to work, schedules, I'm still trying to get used to it. I have also made a big dent in the sequel, the zero draft of the sequel, which is again huge and I'm excited, and I did have a few months after the last Cat NaNoWriMo where I just felt really demotivated and tired and just completely out of it and I did take a bit of a writing break, an unintentional writing break and an unintentional writing break is probably one of the most frustrating writing breaks because you still feel restless. <laughs> Tom left sweets in his office. Shh. <laughs> in the past few weeks I really feel like I've been getting on track. I've been back in work for a couple of weeks now, I'm starting to get a better idea of what kind of schedule and what kind of mindset I'm going to be in. I've gotten back into pole as well, like pole fitness, the gym has opened up again. We're only going once every two weeks, so then we know, okay, we've, you know, 
been good for two weeks, we can go have a lesson, then we can have a two week break. Yep, we're still good. Two weeks later, we can go have another lesson. We're trying to be responsible with it. Um, I've, you know, I've, I've gotten back into some kind of normality, even though this is still so far away from what normality is supposed to be. However, it's helping because I'm starting to understand my mindset again. I'm starting to feel that oomph and need to write because I'm not writing and forcing myself to write. As soon as I wake up to the moment I go to sleep, I have other things and priorities and my time management's getting back into it. So it's really helping, even though I'm exhausted and I still find myself falling asleep on the settee every five minutes. <laughs> so writing wise, I have been able, I have been able to get stuff done this year just not as much as I thought I was going to because everything went skew if. So what do I want to do in these last three months? I want to get the second branded book finished. That is still a big goal, I'm aware, but it is something that I feel like I can do if I really put my mind to it. The fact that NaNoWriMo is coming up soon as well is going to be a huge motivational push because I'll be keeping a track of my word count again, but no, I've, I've been trying to do that anyway, but because of the unintentional break, it just... <laughs> so yeah, I want to get the sequel written down. I want that zero draft completed and sent off to my beta readers by December 31st. If I can do that earlier, that would be fantastic, but I'm not going to hold my breath. It's just whatever will be, will be, but that is the goal that we want it to be. <laughs> I also really want to go over the notes that my beta readers have given me for the first branded book. I need to just have a full on, I think I might do that during NaNoWriMo. I'll jump, like I did last time, I'll jump between editing and writing because that seemed to work really well last time she says hopefully. <laughs> it's just a matter of finding the right balance and I'm starting to get into that again now so hopefully I would have not perfected it but gotten a better grip on it. So finished sequel, revisited and edited the, set, the, the next lot of notes and originally I really wanted to get a start on the sister series as well and to have that entire outline done and dusted but I know that's not gonna happen now. That is perfectly fine and I can focus more on publishing next year. Next year is my... I almost said it, I almost said next year is my year. <laughs> no, next year is going to be the year where it is going to be very publishing heavy and all of the research is coming out. There will be other things going on next year but that is news for another time. It's just going to be absolutely insane, and I can't wait to tell you why it's going to be insane. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> this year has been shitty, but I have a plan in motion to make the following next few months slash year less shitty. I don't know if this video has been a writing update because I haven't actually given you any updates on any of my writing, I've just been telling you I've been feeling like everything has gone very off track with my goals and I need to reevaluate them and those are my two main things that I want to do. Finish the sequel, finish editing again for the first and just to have it ready. I want to, let's just focus on building the foundation work this year and then next year we can try and at least make it past the midway point. <laughs> I was gonna say make it past the, the starting line but then actually sitting down to write the thing in the first place is the starting line and I think we're way past that point now. It's never fun when you have to reevaluate your goals and your targets and it's just... It is a nightmare and it can be so disheartening and you just feel like, oh well, I didn't stick to my goals and my targets are all over the place. I'm clearly not good enough, so why am I even bothering? Let's just give up. But I am really trying hard to not be my own worst enemy because when I went to therapy last year, I, was, I did go to therapy, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. People need therapy sometimes and it's all good. It's the healthy option to choose. 
they did make a point of saying that I have my own personal bully, where I am my own worst enemy and I am so quick to put myself down before anybody else can. And it is very, very true, and I'm trying to find ways to conquer that. I am not going to be a quitter this, this time. I'm not going to be a quitter. We're going to do this. By December 31st, I will have a finished sequel, zero draft, and I will have at least made a good dent in editing again for the first one. Words. <laughs> Building foundations. <laughs> really, those are the only two goals that I'm really focusing on right now, because if I add anything else to the mix then it's just going to be so disheartening and infuriating when I remind myself that you've only got three and a half months to go and it's just going to tear me up inside. So we'll focus on those two for now and then everything else will we will deal with as and when. <laughs> Again, don't know what to call this video. Uh, re-evaluation more than an update and I'm sorry it's probably really boring for you guys and I really don't intend for it to be boring at all. I just like to vent. <laughs> as you know, I like to go on many a tangent. <laughs> But yes, I am going to leave it there and get started. I'm going to try and aim for 2,000 words a day. I don't know how far that's going to get me story-wise, but, you know, it's a good solid goal and it's something that really helped when it came to Camp NaNoWriMo's and stuff like that, so let's go with it. Let's go with 2,000 words a day, maybe taking a day off on the weekend just to chill so I don't end up burning myself out again, because... They're not fun. Burnouts are not fun. But yes, I hope you guys are doing well, and if you have to reevaluate any of your goals, please do not feel disheartened. The fact that you've drawn attention to the fact that they need reevaluating in the first place is a huge step forward and is just going to help you out so much rather than just living in denial. So well done. <laughs> However, if you are completely on track for your goals and targets, then congratulations, dude. I, I envy you and just keep on going. <laughs> Yes, I hope you're staying safe, I hope you're doing well, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, my scribblers.